Come! Come on! What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here, the legend, the crash god, the crash guru, the relic of the past. I am here to discuss Crash Bandicoot 6 and Crash Bandicoot 7, aka Crash of the Titans and Mind of a Mutant, and their non-release in Japan. Now, I think it's really interesting that these games were never released in Japan, and I have a couple of reasons as to why I think they were not released in Japan. Number one being that Activision simply did not have any priority for this franchise whatsoever, unlike their other series, such as Skylanders, Tony Hawk, and Call of Duty at the time, but that's just a theory. I think the other reason as to why these games were never released in Japan is because I think the designs wouldn't have been appealing over in Japan whatsoever, like, at all, and it probably just would have gotten a bad reception if it was over there. Though, it's interesting because in the PS1 Crash Bandicoot games, the symbols on the crates were changed but Crash never had a 3D model that was based on his Japanese design on the box art. The only time that's ever happened on a console, because I'm not counting Crash Boom Bang, even though it's a tiny exception, was in Tag Team Racing, which was a radical era Crash Bandicoot game. Very underrated and underappreciated in my opinion. But yeah, he had a full blown 3D model based on his Japanese design that you can play as. It also would have been interesting to see what Japan thought of the designs if those games were released in Japan, or at least it would have been cool to know someone that was Japanese that played the game in Japan to get their opinion on the designs for the characters. Basically, my point is, it would have been interesting to see if the reception on Crash's Mind of a Mutant and Crash of the Titans, or vice versa rather, would have been different than how they actually are because things are very one-sided. However, going back to my first point in regards to Activision not prioritizing the Crash series earlier, I think that's mainly the reason and not the design factor because Activision published the Insane Trilogy in Japan no problem. They got Sega to publish the Switch version of the Insane Trilogy in Japan. They got Sega to publish the Japanese version of Nitro Fueled and Activision themselves published Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time in Japan. And funnily enough, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first Crash game in Japan that does not use the Japanese Crash Bandicoot design on the box art. And I actually really like that design. That's one of my favorite designs for the character, if I'm being honest. And it kind of sucks because even in the advertisement that was aired in Japan, they didn't have the guy in the Japanese Crash suit. They had him in the American Crash suit, which was really bizarre, just a little. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're really going to be pushing Crash... Uh, to such an extent as they did back then unfortunately it's still good to see that crash is relevant and everything like that but as far as japanese crash bandicoot goes i don't know he's kind of getting the the lower end of the stick unfortunately but yeah that's really all i have to say in regards to this topic you guys can post your thoughts down in the comment section below and also, if you could find me the artist that made these amazing fan-made pieces of Crash Bandicoot 6 and 7, aka Titans and Mind of a Mutant, if they were ever published in Japan, that's on the thumbnail, please send them my way so I can credit them in the description as well as the pinned comment. I hope you guys are well, you guys be easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.